Hi, welcome back to Tiny RV Cooking. First, I'd like to invite you to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell for new notification videos. I'll be putting out new videos every Monday and Wednesday. So today, I'll be making chocolate pot pie. If you like to see I make this super easy recipe, stay tuned and I'll show you how. The ingredients we're going to need are, we're going to need one can of corn. You're going to need a half an onion dice. I've used red onions for this recipe. A pound of ground beef. You're going to need butter just to wipe the sides of your pie dish. I'm using miniature pie dishes. Tortillas, I'm going to use the small ones because they fit perfect in here. And I'm going to use the larger tortillas for the sides. You're going to need cheese, tomato sauce, salt, and oil to fry the tortillas in. For the topping, you're going to need sour cream. Optional stuff is Taco Bell sauce, garlic salt, and Sancho for garnish. To our hot skillet, we're going to add our hamburger and we're going to add our onions. We're going to cook until they're no longer brown. I'm going to let my hamburger cook to just a tad to get some oil, then I'm going to add my onions. If you want to, you can add your onions to this step, but my meat is a little on the fattier side, so I can use some of that oil. If it's not, you're going to want to add more oil, just so it won't brown stick. This recipe is really good. If you have family members that do not like casserole type stuff, but they won't, but they like tacos, take some of the meat out before we add the corn and before we add the tomato sauce. They can have tacos while you have taco pot pie. It's a win-win. So you got little kids that don't like it, or for me, I have a boyfriend that does not like eating casseroles. It works great for the whole family. As you see, I got some oil. So I'm gonna throw in my red onions. I like red onions for this recipe because it adds a sweetness to it. This is when I add my garlic salt. Should have added a little bit earlier, but this works. It's optional. You do not have to put garlic salt in it. I think it just gives the ground beef just a little extra. Normally, I put the garlic salt in at the beginning. I just forgot. So better late than never. Okay, it looks like it's time to drain. So I'm going to turn it off for now. I have this silicone strainer I just love. You put it on the side of your pan or your pot or whatever you're using. You just push it in, make sure it's tight, and there's a little pocket up here. So when you pour it, your meat won't fall out. Or your pasta, or whatever you want to use. My spatula to get more of the meat in the middle, so I can strain more. Out. I'll let this cool and throw it away. Take this back off. We're going to turn it back on. Now, the recipe is a little different. If I'm going to make it for my family that does not eat um, the Popeye, I add my taco seasoning now. Okay, add my taco seasoning now. I use, I have a big container, but it's basically one package. You're going to add your water. Okay. 
optional Taco Bell sauce. One tablespoon. I'm going to give this a mix to a cooks down. Then I'm going to add, take out my families. Then I'll add the corn and the tomato sauce. That's pretty good. Take a little bit out for my family. They won't need this. That's enough for them. Now I'm going to add my tomato sauce. I'm still going to do a whole can of both. And we're going to give this a good mix until it's bubbly. We're going to add more water too. I use a little bit over one fourth, though the recipe says one fourth, it's up to you if you want to use a little more. Okay, I'm going to put this on simmer and it's going to cook for another 20 minutes until it's not so saucy. Now, while that is cooking, we are going to get started on our tortillas. <laughs> the butter, I only used enough butter to wipe the bottom of my dishes in the sides. The butter with the salt from the tortillas and the corn tortilla really plays well together. You don't want any spots or not because the tortilla will stick. You're going to cook in these. My oven is at preheating at 350 right now. It's all wiped up. Our oil is now hot. We're going to fry our tortillas. And you try not to break them because you can't use them if they're broken. All right, the so sauce will go through it and it'll get all over inside your dish instead of on the tortilla. I'm going to make one just a tad crunchier. That will be for our bottom tortilla for the dish. When we move this to the side, we will be using it later. I already turned it off because it was done, but here's our meat. We're going to take our dish. We're going to put it on this. We're going to basically put them around it. So you're going to hold it. That's why you want them pliable to make them easy to move. Two, three. So it all covers. Four. And get your crunchy one you want to put that on the bottom and this one fits five so it's going to look kind of like a flower when you're done a little more down for me and the one on the bottom just holds the flower in place so it looks like this pretty little flower let's do another one Tortillas. We're going to add some meat to the bottom. 
Here, press it down. A little bit of cheese on. Just very, very little. Just sprinkle. Not too much. You're going to put cheese on top. And then you're going to put more meat on. There. And we're going to repeat. As I'm putting the meat on, I'm actually pressing down so the tortilla is not going to be so airy because it kind of pops up. A little bit of cheese, just a little bit of happy sprinkle, and more meat mixture. We'll cook these in the oven for 20 minutes. The last 10, we will put our cheese on. So it goes 20. Plus, then you add cheese in another tin. Oops, my flour fell on this one. Fix that. If it falls, that's reason. This is another good thing. If it falls, it just that's easy. You just pick it up a little bit with your finger because it's got butter on me, and it just slides. Here, and the flour is back. So easy. You can do this in a big pie plate if you want, just use bigger tortillas. Or you can do it in a big long lasagna dish. It doesn't really matter, just as long as you make sure everything is all covered. And you want the tortillas flipped up like this because it's so crunchy, so good. Really, really good. You're going to want to eat these. They're not just decorations, they're really good. Kind of like a, a bread bowl, but in tortilla form. Pressing it down. You do want to leave some room because you are going to put cheese on it. So this is just a little tad too much for me. I want just a tad more meat. This one's got more the veggies and less meat, so let's throw a little bit on top. Okay. And there. We're ready to put these in the oven. I'm going to use my broiler pan. You don't have to use one. If it doesn't all fit, then I'll just won't use it. One, two, three, and I'm going to stick it in my oven. My oven is at 350. Just stick it in there for 20 minutes. I'll see you back in 20 minutes. Okay, it's time to pull them out and put the cheese on them. So I'm going to get them out. Be very careful, they're bubbly hot. You don't want to burn yourself. Clean my pan so I don't burn myself. Okay. I'm the only one going to eat right now, so I'm going to do mine. Let the other two cool because when my sons come home, I can pop them back in the oven, warm them back up to temperature, put the cheese on them, and voila, their dinner is done. I'm going to put theirs on a the trivet behind me. They're behind me. <laughs> to this one, I'm going to add my cheese. Put as much as you want on. I love cheese, so it's always a little bit on the cheesy side for me. You want to make sure you get the edges. So you got cheese everywhere. And as you see, we still have a pretty flower. I'm 
I'm going to pop it back in to put it on my tray. Makes it easier. You certainly don't have to use a tray, but I find it easier to pull in and out. So I'm going to cook it for five. Then I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn my dish in five minutes, so it rotates. I will see you back when it's done in ten minutes. The timer is now up. I'll pull it out of the oven, and that's what it looks like. Now it needs to cool for 10 minutes. So while this is cooling, we're going to get started on our tortillas that we're going to put on the side. Also, if you don't like it this brown on the side, cook it a little less time. It's fine. You can go 15 minutes, then you can put the cheese on and do the last 10 or less. Depends on how much you, how crispy you like your tortillas. This to me is perfect. To my pan, I'm going to add the big tortillas. You can certainly use the little ones. I just want the big ones. Okay, my pan is now hot. We're going to add our tortillas. I'm going to use the big ones, but if you have the little ones, that's fine. If you only have big ones, you just come to size to your dish. Whatever you need to do. It all works. I just happen to have both of them. And now we can finally dish up in time to eat. Can't wait, it's, my camper smells so good. I'm starving. I have my little tray I like to use. I love these dishes a lot. Now remember, this is really hot still. So whatever you use, you put it on a dish or something so you don't burn yourself. We're gonna take our tortillas. I'm gonna go from the bottom to the top so because the top is really hot. And I'm gonna roll them and put them on the side. I like mine on crunchy to, um, edges, so they're a little on a crunchy side. Perfect for me. There. Perfect. I'm going to add a little bit of sour cream. Check it up. A little bit of cilantro. Give it a little bit of color. And taste. If you don't like cilantro or you can't have it, just leave it out. You don't even have to use it, but I like it. I could use a tad. I want chunky cilantro. There. And now it's time to eat. And now for the fun part, it's time to eat. As you can see, you can pick up your tortilla. That's because the butter is on there. You don't put too much butter, so it's not oily or anything, but it just picks up really easy. Much easier to clean when you do this. Plus it's really good with the tortillas. Dig in. Mmm, 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 mmm. -mm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Really good. The corn gives it a little bit of crunch because it just has a little burst to it. The meat is seasoned well with a little bit of a kick. You do not have to add the hot sauce if you do not want to. It's completely optional or add your favorite. Add less, add more, or just leave it out. Um, garlic salt. I like garlic salt on my beef when I make it for tacos. So this is how I've always done it. The tortillas are nice and crispy, as you can hear. And it really is good with it. Mmm. 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 Then the tortillas on the side, you can just put a little bit of meat in and roll it up. Just put a little meat on there, then we just roll it in. Oops. Kind of like that, a little taquito. Mmm.
so good. So, so good. I love this one. I've been making this for years. This is what my son, my son's birthday is today. And he requested this for his birthday. This is his absolute favorite dish I make. Thank you for coming to Tiny RV Cooking. I want to invite you to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell for new notification on videos. I put out new videos every Monday and Wednesday. Please leave a comment down below what you'd like to see me make in my tiny RV, or leave a comment down below what you think of these great recipes I've been making. If you like them or not, I'd like to know. My camper is only 22 foot long, but I love her. I'll see you in next time on Tiny RV Cooking. Bye.